Hi again and welcome back to my channel. This is your instructor again, Mom Arish. So this time around, we will have our discussion to our JED3 or that's um, Mathematics in the Modern World. And we will have our Lesson 1. Lesson 1 will be Mathematics as a Study of Patterns. As we have already discussed in our um, introduction, Mathematics will be discussing about patterns and um, as we all know, patterns are actually everything that is being organized in our environment. So this, this time we will have our um, deeper understanding on what is patterns. So what is really a pattern? What are patterns? So um, a pattern is a series or sequence that repeats or in math, it is a patterns that are sequences, I mean patterns or sequences that repeat, repeats based on a rule. So as you can see in the picture, it would be like square, circle, square, circle, or triangle, um, rectangle, triangle, rectangle, or um, the this particular um, shapes. And then we can also use like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 in um, patterns. So, um, patterns is an arrangement which helps observers anticipate what they might see or what happens next. It organizes information for it to become more useful. So, how does a human mind sense pattern? So, as human, um, our mind is programmed to make sense of data or to bring order where there is disorder. And it seeks to discover relationships and con connections between seemingly unrelated bits of information. So these are actually examples of various patterns that we have. Number one, logic patterns. Logic patterns are usually the first to be observed. It is a um, based on classifying things. For example, comes before enumeration. So as you can see here um, in the picture, we have here an example. Um, this is illustration and this is the solution. So in illustration, we will actually see here that there is um, a shape that uh, it actually uses triangles to be more specific. And then as you can see, there is the second box which has question mark. So um, based on this one on the second part, you will actually select A, B, C, D or E is the um, answer to that question mark. So, the solution will be letter E. So, all triangles move slightly counterclockwise and outside. So, a good solving tip would be to try and disassemble the complete figure to its elements. And to focus each time on one of the elements. So, at the end part, we will be able to get that this letter E here is the correct one or the next part for the um, shape. Okay, uh, the, third, uh, the next one will be number patterns. So, um, as you can see, number, it is another class of patterns in which a pattern of numbers. Number patterns such as 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 are no normally used or are very familiar with us and even the students since they are among the first patterns encountered in schools, even in elementary days. So, it's like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 in multiplication. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. So as you can see here, um, there are also blanks. Then you need to check out what would be the next um, number on that pattern. So example, what number comes after or next in 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and then question mark. So looking at the given numbers, the sequence is increasing with each term. So being 2 more than the previous. So 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 plus 2 is 7. 7 plus 2 is 9 so as therefore the next term should be 11 so that's 9 plus 2 11 okay and the next is geometric patterns geometric pattern is a motif or design that depicts um abstract shapes like lines polygons and circles and typically repeats like a wallpaper so as you can see here on paper 
So as you can see here on the example, what is the next figure? So as you can see, the first one is just one box. And then the next one, um, it added three more boxes as its base. And then on the following one, another three boxes is added as its base. So therefore, we can say that the next figure would be like this. So we will be adding another three layer, I mean another three boxes on the next layer to become its base. So the form will be like this. So next will be word patterns. So word patterns is usually use, used in languages. So this is actually one of the reasons why uh, mathematics is a language. So patterns can be also found in language like the um, morphological rules on phrasing nouns or conjugating verbs or tense, as well as the materials rules of poetry. So like for example, knife, knives, life, lives, then wife, wives. So so word patterns, word changes by substituting the initial sound and uh, while keeping the predictable ending patterns all over or rhyme. So it would be the, the initial sound on set and then the um, additional pattern that will make sh um, the word being rhyme. So as children listen to the sound in words, they begin to hear predictable sound patterns or chunks. Like for example, in this picture, the D, T, W, S, P, P, R, S, L, N, R, M are actually the, the um, onset letters. And then we will be adding the I's as the um, rhyme. So if you will add it to those letters, it would become dice, mice, rice, nice, lice, sprite, spice, and twice. So they have the rhyme of I's. All right, so that all right, so that is actually um the ending of this topic for mathematics. So once again, thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe and like our video so that we will be able to receive all the notifications about new videos being uploaded. And also make sure to complete or finish the video since we will be having our um, oral recitation on our virtual meeting. Again, this is your instructor, Ma'am Irish. So you do have a great day. Bye for now.